today this is a part of personal excellence masterclass i have these master classes you know um maybe uh, once or twice or twice a month where in we discuss lots of different things right and today's topic is public speaking skills my dear people public speaking skills right so before moving ahead let me give you a promise before moving ahead even in today's class that is my uh, my promise for the day is you will learn something mind blowing today you will learn something mind blowing today that will change your mindset about communication skills and maybe about your life as well how you approach things how you approach different obstacles in your life how you approach your goals how you approach you know so your your perception of success right right so i hope uh, in my 15 years of experience in my 15 16 years of uh, career i have met lots of people i have seen lots of things i have got lots of exposure so everything i will try to tell you in this 90 minutes not everything of course but lots of things which i want you uh, to know right in the first day right on the first day in the beginning itself right so that is the thing which i promise you a mind blowing uh, to mind blowing things mind blowing thoughts that will change your mindset that will change your belief system and when you come to public speaking i will give you useful tips that you can apply instantly today because in this world of instant gratification we want, we want everything instantly right yes or no right and many times you don't need to write yes if i say just raise your hand wherever you are raise your hand i understand right no one is watching you but how does that matter do you raise hands just to people uh, just for the people to watch you no be there at your home at your seat you are comfortable in your bed you are comfortable at your chair just raise your hand be active be participative right that is the thing i want that energy in you right fine and if you stay till end the fourth promise which i'm giving you is that if you stay till the end i will give you a very useful ebook and by that it is not a one or two page ebook right it will be a long i don't know how many pages right but it will be more than 500 useful sentences that you can use in different situations in your life while communication right so you are into a communications class maybe some other day you will get some other ebook right? so today you will get that ebook if you still uh, stay till the end right this webinar is free you just need to learn and i know i need sincere people and i love sincere people i love people who learn right because i have been a trainer from long long years so i know i will learn i, I like people who are always you know uh, ready to learn something right so if you stay till then at the end my team will give you a link where you can download the ebook right so that is my promise today right so now as you, as we are going to start our day we will start our day with three mantras to be successful at anything in your life my dear people three mantras to be successful at anything in your life uh, right and what is that for that i need to come on your screen and tell you a story yeah i am for that i need to share a story with you a very small story with you long long years ago right 16 years ago i wanted to learn swimming right see i am a person who wants to learn lot of things right now and uh, now i'm learning something after two months i'm doing something else right uh, i i think that's how we should be always learning right so swimming is a very simple thing right but still i did not know and uh, no one in my family ever learned that right so i'm a very uh, a very i'm from a very humble middle class family right so no one learned that and i registered in the nearby you know swimming school right in the evening and i went there right and i paid the fees and everything and i was you know uh, told to meet that trainer and that trainer took me to the swimming pool at the 3 feet edge you know so swimming pools are like this right 3 feet at the one end depth and 12 feet at the other end right so we start on the 3 feet and we went uh, i given there and the first day the, the the trainer told me to practice you know hold your breath inside the water so that was one drill oh it's okay it's good i feel it the water was cool but yes i like it right second day hold your breath and try to move your legs third day take a uh, take a noodle so noodle is a kind of thing you know that um, foam thing which you can hold and you will not uh, drown right so no uh, life jackets in the swimming pool right just the noodle the board right so third day started with that and fourth day i was very happy i could you know swim a bit right see swimming is a skill you cannot learn just by on youtube or by learning some books right you have to go in the uh, pool right so i in the fourth day i was so happy that i could swim a bit from this end to that end with the help of that board of course right fifth day came and he told me to uh, you know leave the board and yes i could manage it right the sixth day came and to my surprise he took me to the other end of the pool because you know i was not a kid right so 16 years back even then i was an adult right <laughs> that is not a kid so he directly took me to the 12 feet end and there i went and he told me to jump and swing 
oh my god now that was the point where i was scared for my life right so what happened what happened i did not have guts to jump from that diving board and i went on the edge of the swimming pool and i sat on the pool with my leg immersed in water seeing the bottom of the swimming pool you know swimming pools are very clear you can see the bottom 12 feet double of my height right double of my height and there i was sitting there and thinking oh my god what if i die what if i drown what if i don't come up what if i i can't breathe what if i uh, can't open my eyes what if no one helps me you know see when that moment comes you never know what to do but in one mind one mind says that come on abhishek you came here to do this thing right you wanted to swim other mind said that are you mad can you see the water 12 feet Five days before, you did not even know how to, you know, move your hands in water, move your legs in water. And today, we're going to jump in twelve feet of water. Is it? I mean, does not does did not happen, you know, with you every time? Do this or not? Do or not? Shall I or not? Right? And I was thinking there. One minute passed, two minutes passed, three minutes passed, and I could not jump. The trainer saw me, and of course. because he was a trainer he knew uh, these things he have trained many people so he knows what's going in my mind and he comes to me and say something in my ear that is my first mantra of success my dear people do you want to know what he said do you want to know what he said okay don't need to say yes i'll tell you he came in, uh, he came near me and he spread in my ear abhishek don't say it jump don't say it jump my dear people that is the first mantra of success and i did not think twice i jumped because i followed my mentor i followed my trainer and by this i mean to say that how many times in our life we always sit at the edge of doing something yes or no what we wanted to do from long time you know years months but when we come there of course it will be tough because you are going to do something new you are going to do something which you did not do in your life it will be tough otherwise you would have done it before also right otherwise everyone would do it but you are sitting at the edge and you are thinking and you go into the paralysis of analysis right you analyze a lot of things yes or no people yeah raise your hands there itself right yeah make this thing interactive just learn it for yourself not for me not for anyone else right learn it for yourself that's why it's one to one right so yeah many a times we just go into paralysis of analysis we'll analyze a lot and the mantra is don't sit jump if you jump what is the next option can i come back no i have to swim or someone will save me something will happen but it will be better than me sitting there on the edge yes or no All right so by that i just wanted to share this thing and let me come on the screen All right here it is the first mantra of success my dear people All right don't think jump All right see don't wait for the perfect time we people always wait for the perfect time okay uh, let me pass the exam then i do that oh let me go to the college then i do that oh let me get that job then i do that oh let me save this much of money then i do that oh let me let that person launch that course then i do that oh my god how many times we think oh let me i tell you in public speaking itself in my classes you know people we have a portal you also have the portal right but uh, we have more portals where people come and deliver speech right and a person always says to me right sir i will post a speech when i'm good at speaking right when i speak it when i speak good and i tell him that if you don't speak uh, give the speeches you will not speak good right so you are in a cycle you know you are in a cycle just do you know uh, there's a uh, there's a very good example which i always give my brother went to get the uh, pan card right uh, my younger brother and he was told by the authorities that you have you need a aadhar card to get that pan card right so okay no problem he went to get the aadhar card and they said that you want the pan card to get the aadhar card right so you are in a cycle never ending cycle right so coming back to it <laughs> coming back to it people say that i will post my speech when i am good at speaking i say that if you don't pay or post your speech you will not become good at uh, speaking right so you are in a cycle and you are waiting for the perfect time right see don't fall in the trap of perfection my dear people there is no perfect time for anyone anyone in this world there is no perfect time the perfect time will never come you will make it perfect you start take action right like ratan tata says i don't take perfect decision 
right? I take that decision and then make it right because that is the only way. How will you know? This life is very singular people, very unique. Only one thing will happen at a time and then you can always regret, right? So don't fall in the trap of perfection. Perfection is an enemy of progress, my dear people. Perfection is the enemy of progress. If you want to progress, you want to develop, don't fall in the trap of progress, uh, perfection, right? Start with whatever you have. Start with whatever you know. Just have an intention to take action. And you know what? Why, why did I congratulate you in the beginning? Because you are the people who started without even knowing anything, right? You came here, right? At least you started. And right for anything else in life, whatever you have, whatever you know, start. If you want to start a course, start. If you want to start a startup, start. Whatever you have. And then you will learn. If you sit and wait that let me learn everything and then I'll do something, I promise you, you will never be good at anything. Never, because perfection is the end and no one is perfect. And that's a cliche line. But yes, if you wait for that, nothing will come. Understand the power of now. Now is the only thing you have, my dear people. See, let me tell you, you always think that I'll do this tomorrow. Okay, I'll do this thing day after tomorrow. Do you know that? Tomorrow never comes. Of course, you know that, right? But let me tell you, life gives you one day at a time, my dear people. This life gives you one day at a time. When it comes tomorrow, it will be a new today. Yes or no, people? And today will be yesterday and day after tomorrow will be a tomorrow. Yes or no, people? Right? So life gives you one day at a time. That is today. You can only do things today. You cannot do things tomorrow. If you think you move to tomorrow, again, that will be today. Right? So don't wait for tomorrow. Or what you do today, right? Your tomorrow depends on that. What you do tomorrow, that will uh, that will uh, make your day after tomorrow, right? So do it today. Don't fall in the trap of perfection, right? Understand the power of now. Only thing can be done now. And why do we don't do this, you know? Because we know lots of things. We have lots of knowledge, you know? We go into paralysis of analysis. Oh, I cannot do this thing. I cannot speak that because I know this is not done. I know I'm not good at that speaker. I know I don't know business. You know what? Knowing is not doing, my dear people knowing is not doing right why how many of you or how many of these uh, people in this world know that walking in the morning is good it's good for your heart right jogging walking running doing some cardiovascular exercises you know it's good for your heart everyone knows that right it's good to go to a park or you know run behind your home but how many people do that you know what very one percent right and that's why one percent are healthy right so knowing is not doing as tony robbins one of the best speakers of this world says that knowledge is not power knowledge is not power you know you can get knowledge from 10 number of resources thousand a thousand number of resources right but knowledge is not power till today we thought that oh i'm i have knowledge i have power no knowledge is not power application of that knowledge is actual power my dear people if you know everything and if you don't apply it you will be at level zero yes or no do you agree yes or no give me a yes now give me a yes now in the chat do you agree yeah so knowledge is power only if you apply it right i'll tell you uh, in our religion you know every religion uh, any, any, right? We are Hindus, Muslims, Christians, everything. We have sacred books, you know. I had a book, Bhagavad Gita, in my home. And, you know, uh, my grandmother had a habit of, you know, wrapping it up in a beautiful red silk cloth and keep it, keeping it in a temple. For that matter, I'm talking about any religion, right? You have your sacred books, right? So I think if people take that book, wrap it up in silk, you know, cloth, you know, very good cloth, when you, and you change it every year, right? And you keep it. It's not going to give you anything, my dear people, right? That the motive of that book is that go and read it. Don't worship it. Book itself says that go and read it. Don't worship it. I don't need your worships, right? I need you to read me. That is the actual worship you can do. And that is, you know, going and applying it, right? Right. So knowing is not doing. If you know something that doesn't matter that you will be successful, you will only be successful if you go and apply that thing. Do you agree? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your answers, my dear people. So now the second, the second mantra, right? And for second mantra also, I'll come on your screen and I'll share a very small story. Right? And I will share a story of my friend Sanjay. I was in the college and Sanjay liked the girl Sita, right? And this will be a smaller story, right? A funny story as well. So, and he liked Sita, but he did not have confidence to go and tell her, 
right? He did not have the confidence to go and tell Sita that, yes, I like you. How many of us are scared of doing something? How many of us are scared of telling someone something? Right? It's not only about if you like something, anything, right? You're even scared of asking your father that I want to do that thing. You are only, you're always scared of telling your mother that I have some other aspirations. You are always scared of the society, right? You're always scared of yourself, right? Do I need to do this thing or not, right? I want something, you know, we are always scared to even start, right? So what happened? Uh, Sanjay, as you know, college friends, you know, we went and motivated him, right? See, today is the second last year of the college and you have to go and tell Sita that you like that girl. Yeah, you like that girl and you have to go and tell her. Fine. Then he was scared. But yes, all those friends motivated him, pushed him and he decided, OK, today I will express my feelings because that is must. You have to express your feelings and then let the ball in their court and then let them decide. Right. Right. So many of the people die with their thoughts inside, with the talent inside. You know, it is said that there is more talent in the graves than in the world because people have went, you know, died, you know, they spent their whole life without expressing themselves. And let me tell you, when uh, old people of you know, above 70, they were surveyed and asked, what is the biggest regret of your life? Do you know what did it say? Not earning money, not relationship, not love. They said that I did not do what I wanted. Right. That is the biggest regret. And we will learn from them, right? We learn from them and we apply in our life and we save ourselves from that pain that we will, uh, we will, uh, uh, you know, bear at 50, 60, 70. Right. So let's come back to the story. So we, we pumped Sanjay, you know, go motivated. You have to tell the story and it happens with everyone, right? You can relate, you know, many people here can relate with him, with me. Right. So what happened? I love some water, you know, mm. Then also we said, uh, Sanjay, you go and say, we'll have some water, we'll have some juices, right? And he gathered all his courage. He went to the uh, washroom, you know, male washroom, and he saw his, you know, he uh, saw his hair and everything. Yeah, he adjusted everything. And uh, with all courage, with the intention of expressing his feeling, he took a chalk, right? And he wrote on the wall, Sita, I like you so much. What do you think? Do you also like me? Fine. So the idea is he expressed his feeling, but you know what? He wrote this thing on the Jane's washroom wall. Will Sita ever come there? No, of course, no. Right. So even if you express your feeling, even if you did the action, will the person ever see that? 